everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to go thrifting it's just me and Eli today uh, Liam and George are away to comic-con in Perth so it's the first year of comic-con so um, hopefully it'll carry on and just get bigger and bigger um, so yes me and Eli will just be going thrifting just a little shop nothing crazy today and then we're gonna go back home because I did in fact go to the auction on Wednesday with Miss Damn Jewelry and our hubby um, but I did not buy anything good <laughs> it like the the mar the Errol Market boys have been saying it is not what it was um, and obviously every summer it always gets busier the best time to go to auction is in fact in winter um, you pretty much half that crowd it was so busy um, normal box lots that were used to go for two three four pounds were going for 14 to 16 to 18 upwards uh, the particular boxes that I was interested in didn't I think the bidding started at 40 um, yeah, it was a bit uh, it was a bit wild compared to what I am used to so yeah they were in fact right it has I do definitely prefer going through their boxes at market that they buy and just picking one or two things because if you do manage to get a hell of a lot of boxes you've got an awful lot of stock to have to get rid of um which is f fine and easily done but um yeah it's how much how much time you want to invest so yeah i got a box of crap which again 80 percent will probably have to be donated um the kids got a load of boxes of toys which 80% of that had to be redonated or binned um, and I think our total was like £20 so we're gonna go home and go through that box and then also we got a box from a lovely viewer um, Sue if you're watching thank you again so much she had told me she was sending me a piece of glass and I was sending her the figure of the two blue faces it's on one of my previous videos it's a, a like a wall hanging um, it's called the blueies that's what we've <laughs> what she's called it I think it's a brilliant name so yeah we're gonna go through that box because not only did she send me the most beautiful piece of glass she sent me a load of lovely jewelry so we're gonna go through all that so a total mishmash of a video but let's see how we get on thrifting first and foremost <laughs> Mommy, one. Go, Papa, we're sharing up. Want to go in there and look at toys? Yeah, isn't it? What, the stairs? Yeah. Oh, Mommy loves it. How much is it? It's only £2. Uh-oh. I went down. Mm -hmm. There aren't any pumpkins in that one, honey. Your cookie pumpkins. I have cookie pumpkins at home already. Yeah, we'll go down in a minute. Mommy's just having a look at some of these things. Mm -hmm. 
back home I'm in my stock room it's quite a small thrift in all we got five items I don't know how much footage I, I managed to get but we'll go through them okay the first we got is this vase now I did take footage looking through the window at this piece now it does have a very small paint chip to the rim but it's very shallow it's literally just the gold paint that's chipped away now this is signed, and it's hard to make out, but this is Monaco Ceramics. So I found a sold uh, vase, is it a vase? It's a sold item of Monaco, So and it's the the style of the fish and the gold. Um, I'll put that there just to give you an example. So I think we could maybe get 50-ish for this vase. Another one that I got, this is for £2, it is a chrome ring holder in the form of quite a stylized fox. Um, I'll put the maker up here and I think maybe 20 15 20 for that one. We got this lovely 50s dish with the two doves maybe, um, pink with the gold detail, no mark, definitely vintage, I'd say 50s, um, we got this for 2 99 and I would say at least 25 for this piece, it's in really good condition. Then we got this topsy-turvy doll, so we have like a jester on one side, playing his horn it's like sitting on a hill with lots of children and some mice <laughs> is, that a, is that a nursery rhyme i'm not sure and then over here we have i'm not sure what he is like a bishop type figure and he has a piece of i don't know a bag of something but it's got a few stitches out the side of the bag but i'm not too bothered about that and he's like sitting on maybe a rock so yeah, £2 for that. I think we could get maybe 25 again for that one. And the best of my buys is probably this little chicken. And we got this for one ninety nine as well. Or was it one fifty? It was either one ninety nine or one fifty. Now this is signed IK down here. And that is for Ian Kinnear at Oathlaw uh, Pottery. And I'm still unsure as to how this one will do. Um, there are sold items online, but I can't get to the to the prices. You'd, Ian Kinnear and his wife, I can't remember her name, but they do quite well with the studio pottery items. So yes, we'll see how we get on with this little chick. Um, so those are my thrifted items. We did not too bad. Um, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pounds in total. Not bad for the five items. And then now we're going to go to the auction lot. So I'm just going to put in the twenty second footage here, and then we will go through the the bundle that I'm keeping. I've already skipped what I don't want and donated and loved other stuff. So fourteen, I have a about the fourteen, sixteen, sixteen pounds. 16, 18, 20, and, 20, 20. and this is it. <laughs> so in my defense, it was on the other side of the aisle um, that we were standing on while this lot was getting called. And I could only see what was in it from underneath the table on the other side. So I saw the swan head. I saw a couple of the 
a doll heads. And then there was another box of glass beside it. Here comes the cat. Um, so yeah, I bidded £14 on this. So I've only got £14 to make back. Well, I think it was 15 something by the time the everything went on because well we bought the kids their stuff and then this lot and it was 21 pounds and something pence so and even in the kids lot i can make the money back with a few of those items but they're keeping them <laughs> there was a really cool yo-yo in the kids lot so let me do this a little bit by a little bit so i've set the camera up funny so you're just gonna have to see my feet okay so this would have been the first thing I kind of thought, right, well, could maybe get a bit for that. It's a nice, like, 70s heavy brass metal planter, swan planter. So, yeah, 15 to 20 on that. And there was these trousers. The reason I've not donated them is I may still sell them. I'm not sure. We have a total of eight of these glasses and they're etched with like a thistle flower so we've got eight of them so i thought for a nice big set of eight really nice quality glasses um i thought i could ask at least 30 to 40 for the set of eight they are unmarked but i'm thinking conference room you know those types of uh, buyers i've sold a lot of like silver plated sets to businesses because they have them in the conference room so i'm i used to be an administrator so i used to set up the conference rooms for the meetings so i know how they do these things so these are by ice peak and they're in quite good condition like thick cozy winter snow trousers fine and then a nice, oh, I've seen nice. I don't know if people still collect these, but we have four, like, porcelain dolls. I'm happy to put these on an auction at, like, a £15 starting bid. I'm quite sure someone, the one's brand new in box. How scary is that? But I know for a fact people do still collect these. Uh, my own daughter's uh, granny collects these. So, yeah, see how we get on. I think we'll get our 20 quid back. Um, and we will probably get some profit, but <laughs> these aren't the best things to have sold. <laughs> but yeah, I think I prefer going through the boxes at market, to be honest with you. Unless you had the space for furniture. Now, if you could deal in the bigger goods, oh, you could make an absolute fortune at auction. So, I know. <laughs> I'm shocked at myself that I bought it, but it was just in the moment, I think. I really wanted to get something. <laughs> I was so busy. Anyway, let's go through the gift that I got from Sue. Now, she's a lovely, lovely subscriber. Um, she's got a few things from me already. And then she really liked the blue faces. So I was, I wanted to send them to her for free because they were chipped. And, and she's been a really good friend. And she had sent me told me that she was sending me this beautiful piece of art glass that she found. So let me show you the art glass that she found and that she she thrifted this. This is a mid-century Murano <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> I have to double check again. She bought this for £6.50. She kept the ticket on it so I was able to see how well she thrifted superb quality and condition over the moon over the moon with this it's stunning so this will go on for a fixed price she wants me to try and get some money back from the broken lisa larson place <laughs> so this one i love it I'm tempted to keep it but let me show you some of the jewelry so the first Lord, you, you might notice Sue if you're watching. I have a pair in. These are honestly there's there's sterling silver and they're designed in a way where these these two things just perfectly kind of cross over and 
I just thought that's such an awesome design of earring just because when they're laid flat you're like how would they look on and then you put them on and they twist around each other and I was like oh I love them so these will not be getting sold a lot of this jewelry I don't think will be getting sold because I actually I love it as you know I I'm a huge collector I will need to sh show my collection of jewelry one day if anyone's interested in it let me know if you would like to see my collections so I collect costume jewelry I don't sell everything so that's why I regret a few things I have sold because I'm a collector too <laughs> I was like ah oh, why did I sell that so yes I have a few pieces um I have some costume jewelry and then I have some uh some sterling silver that I keep I don't keep much gold I don't keep any gold to be fair um I do love my costume jewelry I don't know I don't know why it just has a very special place in my heart I also collect a regular choice shoes. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what a regular choice is, but they do wild and wacky shoes. I say I collect them. I have five pairs, um, but I love each and every one of them. <laughs> so the first thing we got from Sue was this lovely necklace, and it's got like the evil eye art glass. Now, and this is actually sterling silver. It has the mark on it on there so that's a lovely piece so i do have a bundle of jewelry ready to go in their lots because a few people have asked um when i'm doing my jewelry lots again and i will i've got i've been building up my collection and i do have a good collection to to uh, make some nice bundles um so yeah these and i believe this is like a little like rose quartz or maybe I think it's just I think it is a rose quartz but it's just not very pink rather than a clear quartz and these are sterling silver too absolutely gorgeous these now these are rose quartz as well but much more pink lovely beads and I think these are, yeah, these have got a sterling silver hook to them. So, that's the box. So these, these are nice earrings. These are costume jewellery, but they're so funky. If I could hold them still, Chrissy, try. So yeah, flowers at the end and some beads. But they'd be nice. I'll show you the ones. And we have a watch. Very blingy. And it's in really good condition. It still actually has the sticker on the back. And then I've done those already, so they're not very good. So in here, I love this one. A vintage like carved lucite brooch he's like carved and painted it's fabulous we have a small enamel frog brooch it's gorgeous and we have a pendant for a necklace and that's 925 so I have a 925 chain and then these, my mum would have loved these because she loved anything Rennie Macintosh, but sterling silver earrings in that Rennie Macintosh, uh, the rose, is that the rose design of the Rennie Macintosh? Um, maybe it's not. It's only Mark 925, so it's not like the Kit Heath, you know, he does a lot of the Rennie Macintosh designs. But they're lovely. And here, this is a lovely sterling silver brooch with a lovely purple amethyst in the centre. That's lovely. And I love this as well. This is, I don't know if I can undo it, but it's a lovely vintage like enamel painted brooch 
on like the gold tone copper but it's a lovely vintage one I really like that I am a sucker for brooches so and again I think this one's my favorite do you know see I, I love the I love the retro costume jewelry is something fabulous about it and I've done those and I've done that so I'm just making sure I've done everything I mean how super generous is that I just and then these my favorites such a unique design so sue thank you so so much and just a stunning piece of glass how retro awesome i love it thank you so much for watching and i will be uploading again soon i was thinking about doing um a research video so let me know if that's something that you might be interested in We'll go through a subject and uh, go through some sold listings. We could go through some makers. Um, so we could do some jewellery, some glass, um, studio pottery, things like that. Um, I've been looking at some research videos and they're all so good and they're brilliant, you know, for, for learning. And also you need to keep doing them because the market changes. You know, every six months you've got to read redo a search to see well has anything changed and then obviously uk is different from america you know everything is different so i've been watching a lot of american ones but in the uk it's always slightly different so i was thinking about that and if that's something anyone would be interested in let me know okay i will see you next time bye